Ricky. Hello, hello. It says we're... Oh, I can't play this or else it'll... There we go. Skip over that. Now we test to see if it's going through. I'm just going to play a little Chrono Trigger for fun today. Try to relax a little more. Live a little. Have a little fun once in a while. There it goes. I think it's working. Let me uh, test it real quick on my end. Yep, seems to work. Perfect. All right, let's get rolling. Last time, uh, let's see. Where did I leave off, actually? I think I had... Chrono's dead. Spoilers. And I'm basically just exploring around, finding, trying to find ways to resurrect him. I think I was screwing around the Millennial Fair last time. No, okay. Why was I here? It's interesting not seeing Chrono up uh, on the overworld. The North Cape. I think this is where I recruited... Edgy boy here. Yeah. And I think I got all of the really good equipment last time. Well, why is an Aeonian helm better than a time hat? Prevents stop and slow. Okay, so it does give you a little boost. Prevents lock. And Platinum Helm isn't as good as these. Aeonian Suit. Absorbs water damage. Absorbs fire damage. And I think the blue vest only absorbs 50%. So the plate is better than the vest. What is that? Enables Eternal Darkness Triple Tech? Well, shouldn't I be giving the Black Gemstone to uh, Dark Butt or whatever? been too long. I've forgotten what I was doing. A few of the enlightened ones did survive, but no distinctions remain between the enlightened and the earthbound now. He's got more goods. Yeah, the shiny behind him. How do I get the shiny? Do I have to convince him to walk out of the way? Bruh. An Empyrean blade. A sonic bow. What? Oh, it's I've got one in use. Equipped. I've got one in stock. Got a bunch in stock. I'm doing great, item-wise. I don't need to buy. Come again. And a save. That must have been where I saved last time. Now, I guess I have to get Chrono Brack to hear uh, his mom's smart-alecky commentary on mages here. In the village commons. Such a mysterious little tree. Perhaps someday it will help us paint the land green again. A cat. The sun ever rises on the morrow. There's little we can do but live for today, and trust that other days will follow. Ooh, a rhyme! What else will happen, I wonder? What in the world is that thing? What thing? The cat? Mister, is this your cat? Nope. The Sun Temple of Zeal, enshrined a sunstone. Such stones are made by bathing darkened moonstones in the sun's rays. Harvesting enough power to create a sunstone of any worth requires ages, though. Or so I've heard. I think we've done that already, yeah. The Ocean Palace? No, it cannot be. Oh yeah, that's where I can go if I want to end the game. 
I sense strong magic emanating from that ship, much like Lavos. I've never seen a thing so ominous before. What's happened? Dalton never had what it took to be a king. Dalton was a horrible master. Stingy with the coin, too. Wait, how do I run? I guess if you get people out of the way, it starts doing it automatically. Okay, I don't think there's anything of val value here. Maybe there's something to do with that tree if I go back in time. And I can fly around, too, to check out where this ship is. Okay, there's a cave there. And now I'm just circumnavigating the globe. Mini islands. There's that again. Okay. So I guess there's that cave... few little mini islands. How do I check the map? Okay, there is something. Down there, there's a little mini cave. And then apart from that, it's just scattered islands. Let's go check it out. Oh, this guy. Okay. That's if I want to start the end game. Okay, that's the old time portal. I don't want to leave the epic behind, do I? Well, what happens if I go in here? That's if I want to try and travel the old-fashioned way. But does it screw up my ability to get the epic? Is the other one just another little time portal? Oh, okay. That's where I put a moonstone, hoping to get a sunstone out of it, I bet. Antiquity... Prehistory. I'm just going to screw around and explore a bit. Just kind of like do a tour of everything and see what, what's what around here. Okay, this has got to be where the cave is. Now, did I already turn the sunstone into a moonstone earlier? I might have. That's the hardest thing about RPGs is if you leave, there's no coming back if you forget what you were doing. Okay. Now that's the old-fashioned time portal, isn't it? How do I land? Can I walk over there? Oh, that's sneaky. Do I have to go down here with uh, dinosaurs or something? There we go. Oh, that's weird. Can I land here? There. The Lost Sanctum. What was that? This was like the little village of goofy people or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any luck finding the Golden Hammer? It's said to be crafted from the wood of a golden tree, but it's not very often you see one of those either. Looking for the golden hammer, you say? Well, there's a patch of golden sand in the flower meadow down in the Great Southern Swamp. Guess that's not what you're looking for, though, is it? Okay, the Great Southern Swamp. Hint, hint, hint. You seem to be doing well. If only my daughter had that much energy. If you happen to come across a rusted blade, bring it to me, will you? I'll reforge it for you. Anything interesting? Elixir? That's really good, but it's really expensive. I'll save my gold for now. I 
I seem to have everything. Some of everything, so. Can you heal here? Or just save? You can just save, alright. I'm not gonna save yet. Wait till I actually accomplish something. Who else is on the ground floor? The Legend of the Golden Hammer. Ah, yes, as I heard it long ago, sprinkling golden sand about a young sapling will cause it to produce golden wood. The hammer is made from that. Okay, we need golden sand. Through the narrow passage to the west, the cavern dark as pitch. Beyond that, well, who could know? The place is so dark you cannot see a thing, but I think there's something hidden there. I love things that sparkle, don't you? Gemstones and such, they're so beautiful. Okay, wait. I need sprinkle to sprinkle golden sand on a young sapling and let that grow into a golden tree to make a golden hammer. Okay. And who's up here? Nobody! An empty room, okay. If you're tired, feel free to rest in my home. Would you like to rest? No, I'm good. Okay, now this is that place to the west, and it looks like I already explored here because the treasure boxes are open. There used to be an enormous tree growing in this wood, but those monsters felled it. What a waste. It was such a strong and stalwart tree. Whoa. Did I just freeze it? Hey. Hey, come on. Um, hello? Oh, no. I screwed up. Well, that's not fun. Grumble, grumble, grumble. All right, well, we'll have to f troubleshoot this. I should have saved. My bad. Is there even, a, like, a good way to reset it? Dope. Duh. Doi. Well, I'll check the chat real quick. The metal is here. Still one of the tightest RPGs ever made, says the metal. Amen to that. Oh, it's, it's blooming steam, I guess. That's okay, I didn't make any progress. I'm just going to do play offline mode or whatever. Save it later. Okay. So I can't find anything in uh, antiquity. There's that wooded area that I was poking around in. I thought I saw a room down here. Maybe there's a corridor. Okay, yeah, and there are going to be, like, more dudes down here. Looks like I got the treasure, though. It's empty. Now, those guys fight me, or will they just chat with me? Oh, boy. Time to beat up some frogs. Oh, dear. Oh, Mages is in a little trouble.
I also want to try unlocking these guys' techs, right? A lot of things to keep an eye on out uh, for in this game. Okay, well, have I explored all this? There's an upper section. Yeah, let's try attack. Why not? Attack all enemies with darkness. Oh, darkness helps that guy. Okay. Oh, but I gotta keep an eye on mages here. I'll rest at that one alien dude's home in a second. I didn't like that it froze up. I guess it was my steam acting up. What, he kisses us? Oh, he seduces them and then she attacks the others. Okay, or something like that. Okay, I've already been there. Looks like I was pretty thorough last time. There's probably one more dude who's going to jump out and kick my butt. I was there. There. Is he going to fight me? I got here, you know pass. But aren't I a good guy? Okay. I guess I gotta come back with something. Mental note. Random spot I gotta come back to. And those guys. Is there a way for me to sneak past them? Oh, hey. Oh, okay, is this where I came from? No, there's something else. This isn't the little dude's room. Oh, I'm getting deeper and deeper into something. I hope I there's actually something here, and I'm not just poking around for nothing. Should have healed before I came here. Do they go over a thousand HP or is that max? Okay. How many little corridors are there? There. See? There's always a little hidden spot, but we already got that. Okay, looks like there's just the one main path. Unless there's a hidden spot. Oh, that's suspicious. Looks like I don't have to fight that guy and look, say, like, waltz right up to him. Which I just did. Okay, dark magic isn't good. How about, a? Uh, Attack all enemies with fire.
15k, that actually does damage. I guess Marla is just really susceptible to whatever that charm attack is. She just has a thing for purple, purple goo monsters. And another path. Okay, we got that. And then whatever the pathway is down to that thing, I'm, I'm assuming I already got it. Sneaky little hidden passages everywhere. There we go. Oh, and there is a path down here. No, there isn't. It just tricks you. Okay, what's this way? What? It's too dark to see a thing. Might we, I suggest we not waste our time here? What, nobody has a light? Pepe, Rick, and Isla. I cannot see a thing. We'd best go back for now. Interesting. I wonder how it determines which one of them talks. My visual senses do not function in total darkness. We should go back. No can see. Go back. Is it the last person you changed out? What is the programming logic behind this? Science wants to know. Marla? What does Marla have to say? It just seems like whoever is the most chad of the group says something. Yeah, because it doesn't matter what order you change them out, it's just there's one person there who speaks for the party in that scenario, but not Luca or Marla, it looks like. Interesting. Okay, so that means that there's a black area over there that we can't explore without some light. Dual tech, twin charm. I don't think I'm going to waste on this little guy. I'll save it for a bigger fight. I know that there's a pathway to the right where that's blocked by one of the weirdo dudes, and I know there's a pathway to the left that is dark, presumably that we can explore with a torch or something. And then I guess, is there anything over here? Looks blocked off. Hey, that looks like something. But I guess not. It's just a little ingrove. Those frogs just vibing. I don't want to walk into them or I'll have to kill them. Oh! Man, he's got a pretty big sensor area.
Cave thought is best girl. Well, strongest girl. Apparently she's like in the meta. She's one of the stronger characters in the whole crew. Oh, hey, YouTube has like a new feature where you can do like emojis, of course. Nice. I hadn't noticed that before. Okay, mental note to come back to there. And let's heal. Can I save while I'm at it? I don't want it to freeze up again. Though I guess if it does freeze up, all I've done is I've just confirmed that <laughs> there was nothing there that I can do yet. Is that a little... You can never tell if it's like a pathway doesn't seem like it. It's just a little empty thing. That was who I talked to last time when it froze up. Maybe something in the trees? Not that I'm noticing. Will those guys fight me or are they just NPCs to talk to? Looks like an NPC re ready for a scrap. Let's kill him. <laughs> Let's murder him. This is an Undertale. Oh, look. See? He came out. This is clearly self-defense. I swear, Your Honor, I was in fear of my life. And then the other one, he did that. He, he, made, he stuck his tongue out at me. That is clear and present danger. Okay, let's try a te technique. Eng engulf all enemies in a whirling flame. Okay. Okay, now that equipment I gave to Marla enables Eternal Darkness Triple Tech, but do I have to unlock it too? I'm guessing it's not enough to just have the ring. Or maybe I'm only supposed to give it to ma Magus. There. Antipode Bomb 2. No, nothing. Oh, but I already got it. Oh, one of those guys. What's their weird deal? Flame kick, iceberg toss. Inferno is nicer for getting everybody. Like Iceberg, yeah, they have to be grouped together a little.
I want to try Flame Kick. Flame Kick is like a one enemy thing. Ice Toss. Okay, so th with the two player combo, you basically like throw your elemental ability at Isla, and then Isla physically throws the element at them or kicks them with it. Is that important? Is that the plant I have to spread gold around or something? I can't interact with it yet, so I'm assuming I have to come back. Forty-three, forty-three, forty-three. Rick's level forty-four, so I might take him out for a little bit. Make the mortal enemies work with each other for a while. Okay, well, it feels like I can do something here, but I don't have whatever I might be needing. I'm really close to the end game, right? I would like to save Chrono on my first run and then try the no, don't save Chrono uh, endings for later runs. And apparently there's like a giant like mini map I can go to, but people recommended I wait a little bit longer because it's pretty difficult. And I think I have to go to the carnival and screw around there to earn something I need to save Chrono, so... Doesn't seem like there's much in this chunk of the map for me to do right now. Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity. Why pay for inns? I, I don't even want to pay 10 gold for inns if I can sleep anywhere free. I'd rather go in a time machine and go sleep somewhere free. Okay, and then the last question, is there any other, like, little cavern tucked away in a wall somewhere that I missed? Can I, like, examine a map? No. I can see a map in the overworld, but... Okay, a couple potential interesting things in the Lost Sanctum, but nothing right now. Let's poke around a bit more. Mm -hmm. I know there's a village. I think that's where Lavos landed, so I probably shouldn't go fight him there until I'm ready to, like, do the end game. Now, is the sh ship back in time? No, it's from Antiquity on. There's nothing you can do to save Antiquity. Antiquity always gets wrecked. Oh, there's a little... I think that's like a previous dungeon area. The Reptite Lair, yeah. I really doubt there's anything in there I missed. Maybe if an NPC gives me a hint. Now, is there more than one village area? That's the main village area. Is there anything up here? Sacred Mountain or something? I don't see anything obvious. Oh, well, there's a dinky little path right there. The La Ruba Ruins. Okay, this is the people who got wrecked by the reptites. No, no what? What the matter? I was sound asleep. No, can I no not get some rest? I changed Pepe's name, so please let me go back to my dreams. No. Oh, this is where you can change up. No, I don't want to change his name. I like his name. You have to talk to him with uh, the person whose name you want to change. Okay. 
Pepe! Accept. How do I... Enter? Yes. Is Pepe correct? Yes. Nighty night. Oops, okay, don't talk to him unless I want to change your name. I'm the name rater. I rate your Pokemon's nicknames. I'm the only reason you come back to the... Uh, what is it? What's the, what's the creepy city in Pokemon? Indigo? No. I think it's Lavender is the creepy one. The Dactyl Nest. Is there anything important in the Dactyl Nest? I feel like I explored this pretty thoroughly, too. Killed all the dinosaurs in the pre-ancient prehistory. Sure, that won't have any repercussions. The Ioka Hut. Lightning stun, stun Dinosaur, you know? Go hunt hunting range. Get petal, fang, horn, and feather. When rain, rare monster come out. Rare one, good hunt. Trade. Trade your shiny stone. I'm good. Sorry, dude. Make strong armor. Use many rubies. Trade for petal, fang, horn, feather. Ten each. You want trade? You have no thing, no thing to trade. I already got that stuff. I think I have better armor than that anyway. The chief! Wait, if I talk to him with Isla as player one, will he say something? Novos fall. Reptites gone. That good, but get cold now. Hunt, but not many beasts. But Kino no stop. Isla lo no worry. Leave to Kino. Okay, now wait a second. Okay, it was always an ice age, and the only difference is in antiquity they built like the giant floating city to survive the ice the ice age, and that got wrecked. That's kind of dark. Yeah, they're about to enter into an ice age, right? Like, dang. You can't save everyone. Brr, cold. I like quit chief. Now, Kino Chief. Big fire, Lavos fall. Now get cold. Oh yeah, he caused the Ice Age. He's always a dick. And if you try to kill him before he causes the Ice Age, we get overrun by dinosaurs. Spoilers. Find strange rock, but feel icky when touch, so throw away. Less monster, now cold. Less game, too. Happy water all gone before never happen. Okay. I don't think we can do much here. Mystic Mountains is just where we want to go if we want to do the old-fashioned route. But we have a time machine. Oh, the meeting grounds. What's here? Just some dudes. Yoka people, good, nice people. When village burn, they say, okay, live here. I look inside, trade hut. New thing there. Cold, white, cold stuff fall from sky. What that? Sky, many cloud, no can see sun. They're all gonna die! Maybe there's a way to save the cavemen too. Wait, no. There. Okay, we tried antiquity end of time, the future. Let's try the Middle Ages. That might be where the evil lair is. The metal says they can't prove it was in self-defense. There are no witnesses. And Lavender, Lavender Town is the name I was thinking of. The big, mat, nasty black omen. Okay. So it's here basically from antiquity on, just hanging out in the sky. I wonder if the when I defeat it matters or if I just have to defeat it. The magic cave? A message is scrawled in blood here. Beware the jugglers in Fiend Lord's Keep. Strike them and they tighten their defense against blows. Cast spells upon them and they strengthen their defense against magic. Okay. Should I just go to the Black Omen? Or does that start the end game right away? I 
think the secret uh, room here is like in the desert or something. It's like a sinkhole in a big empty plot of land. There it is. I found it. Eh, what the hell? Oh, I should save real quick before I try that. Because that's probably going to be a game ender. Fiona's Villa? Anything I plant dies before it even has a chance to grow. It's the work of monsters lurking out in that desert somewhere. This young tree is one that has been cultivated throughout the ages, mysteriously resilient. That could surely restore this desert in avert to a verdant land. But I daren't play plant so small a sapling out there now, not with monsters nesting near that cave. So Fiona can plant a tree that becomes important later. The monsters in Desert Cave fear water. They seem vulnerable to it, but the greatest of them, water or no, I could not hope to slay that beast of that own. Okay, and I think uh, Marla and uh, Pepe, their magic is water-based. How about we stay in an actual inn? A whole 20 gold? Ugh, fine. It's worth it to make Pepe and uh, mages have a sleepover. Talk about, you know, that time I murdered your mentor and all that stuff. There, okay. Yeah, everybody's 43, we'll keep them that way. So what happens out here? Is it spooky? Is it scary? There. Okay. It's empty. Okay, wait. Oh, and this bloody sand is going to push me around. Looks like I got all that stuff. Okay, so there's a pathway up. And that's the way out. All right. So if I really want to fight him, I got to go down, down, down. Cave thought, lead, lead way. Okay. Now what? Big scary monster, right? There it is. Do I have to kill it? Pick a fight. Yoo-hoo! Come and get me, big scary monster! Or will it just attack me? Where is he? What? Hey, come on. What? Yeah, uh, you! I want to fight you! Okay, big nasty guy. Uh, let's try some techs. Bubble burst? Oh, I should have gotten more icy guys out here. Oh, well. I've got two water guys and Isla. That ought to be okay-ish. Running wild without core. What? Water hardened sand, defense reduced. Okay. How about Dino Tail? Summon dinosaur. <laughs> oh, defense boosted when attacked. Okay. So I want to weaken his defense with a lot of water attacks, and then slam him with physical attacks. And he's hammering Isla. Uh, he seems pretty tough, guys. And he can bite my guys. That's not good.
He's nasty, okay. People weren't kidding. Wow. Big, mean, nasty. All right, so I've got to concentrate more on healing. Time everything really well. And there we go. All right. So you want one person constantly hitting him with water. And then I guess the other two hitting him with a combo, a really good combo technique. So what I really ought to do is I ought to have one designated water gal. All right, kiss. Jump kick an enemy. Savagely claw an enemy. Lob an enemy as if it were stone. Seduce an enemy to obtain an item. Just a charm. Uh, spin and strike surrounding enemies. Dino tail. Tilt. Hit all foes. Damage higher when HP. Oh. So, like when her HP is low. Okay. Triple kick. I don't have enough TP for that. Kick an enemy three times. And then we have a whole bunch of these. Now, if I could combine physical with water, would it combine physical damage with lowering uh, his abilities, maybe? Water plus ro rondillo kick. Rapid fire fist plus boulder toss. Fire, fire. Ice. So I think ice does count as that. Ice 2 plus boulder toss. And that counts as water. Twin charm. Wait, what's the difference between ice and ice 2? It costs more MP for her. Okay, I haven't unlocked Water 2 with them yet. Pepe could act as a healer, which might be nice. Marla could act as a healer, which might be nice. And uh, Isla could act as physical force. Magus also has water attacks, right? He has ice too, specifically. Attack all enemies with ice. And what's nice is that one giant attack at the beginning takes out the core really fast. Now, I don't know if that's good, right? It goes crazy after it loses the core, but I'm assuming the core is bad for me. So what I think I'll do for now is we're going to have Pepe, Marla, and Isla. So that someone's always healing and someone's always attacking the guy. Are we all healed up? Yeah, we're all healed up. Let's go for it. We gotta beat, fight him sometime, right? Water, 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 water. Iceberg toss. Attack all enemies with water. Okay, let's see if this does do damage of some kind. No. Oh. It does reduce his defense. So it's a waste. It's a waste to combine water with one of Isla's techniques. And that thing's healing it, so it should be taken out quickly. Okay, let's try Dino Tail then. And let's try, I don't know, Ice 2 and Water 2. We're just going to really lower this sucker's defense. How did I do it last time? Okay, now the thing about Dino Tail is I'd rather do that when Isla is pretty low on HP, right? How about Tailspin? Spin? 
defense boosted when attacked. Okay, so you want to keep hitting him continually with water to keep lowering his defense. Is there like a minimum where his defense is lowered as much as it's going to be lowered and there's no more point lowering it after that? Let's heal. I can wait until later to let Isla get beat up a bit. I don't know if the defense uh, reduction stacks or not. That's the one thing that sucks. Dino Tail again. How about some kind of heal? forgot how much you have to pay attention like you have seconds and uh, they're, they're after you with every single second that goes by uh, let's do another I'll let him beat up Isla a little bit more oh, that sucks You can basically chew you up and spit you out, and then heal doesn't work anymore, does it? No, then you need revive after that. Suck. Uh, does Frago have a revive? Dino Tail. Cure? No, okay, item. Revives a KO'd ally. And then pray. How about, like... Combo, Dino Tail, item... What, I need something like... And that's gonna kill me, isn't it? Yeah, if you don't, like, act fast, you're screwed. You have to act instantaneously, or you're dead. Ah, well, let's just do the best I can. Why not? This might be too high an encounter for me. That was nuts. Alright, I think people, when people warn me that that might be a bit high level for me, they weren't kidding. I need a place to grind some experience. With this armor, I can join the fight against the Fiend Lord. <laughs> then he collapses. I'm afraid my brother will hurt himself. Ah, oh, it's so, so heavy. Nobody needs it. Nobody needs it. We don't need your inferior technology. One of these guys says something about Pepe behind his back, and he reacts to it. Or they say something about the knight who uh, went missing, and he realizes that's him they're, they're talking about. A slimy frogman, bested magus? I'd have gone and slew the fiend myself if and I'd known it would be that easy. Ha! And they're both here. Tata's been working hard lately. He just may have learned his lesson. And I thought the hero one of our own. How disappointing. Proprietress, 
I have a little dream of my own, you know. Hee <laughs> hee. I wonder if I could be a good mother to that boy. Aw. Tata got adopted. A strange monster came here drinking not long past, mumbling about Queen Lien this and Masamune that. That sure was an ugly for uh, him. I meant such a magnificent frog, sure to be a great hero or chancellor someday. <laughs> yeah, he's the one who gives you the hint to go look for the guy. But he also will uh, amend himself if he sees you actually there. Tata, okay. Oh, let myself get all swept up when I should have been looking out for my boy. Well, from now on, I'll make sure both our feet stay on the ground for his dear departed mum's sake. <laughs> Listen to him. And who does he think he is going around bragging to everyone that he's raised the hero? Oh, you can switch back and forth between running. Okay. You don't have to press and hold. Worry really not. He's my grandson. He won't let a little thing like this spill the end to his great deeds. He told me already. His next goal is to become the legendary sea captain Bluebeard. Ha <laughs> ha! Obsessively check walls because I know there's probably like one secret treasure chest in a wall somewhere. Okay, I think I've solved all these problems. What? Elder. I'm going to be Tata's bride one day. Ooh. Wait. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Okay, now is this the one where I have to go in the future and check on them and then come back? Oh, is that not spice jerky you're carrying? Might you part with it for 10,000 gold? Take it for free. Truly, oh, thank you. I thought kindness and sharing had gone out of this world altogether. I'll teach my children from your example. There are greater things in life than money. Now, I think I might have already helped her, though. Right then, I'd best start cooking. The boxes beside the bed have been handed down through this family for generations. I'm not the slightest inkling what's within. Find a way to open them, and the contents are yours. Your place known as Magic Cave lies east of the Den Denodoro Mountains. That place will send chills down a grown man's spine. Oh, that Tata, always stirring up trouble. But how could a person be wroth with such an innocent little face? All right, so the only question I have is if I should go to the future. Uh, I, I don't remember if it's like you reject opening them in the past and then go to the future, or if you reject opening them in the future and then you go to the past. Let's try the present. Okay, now let's see if they're still handed down here. The boxes are gone, which means they only exist in that one time. Help the needy, share and share alike. Think about making that the town motto. I love my daddy. My dad is my favorite person in the whole world. See, if we, uh, you change this guy's life by giving jerky to his ancestors so they learn to be generous instead of stingy. I wish my husband were just a touch less generous. I mean, it wouldn't kill him to save a little for us, would it? Because <laughs> before they were ticked at him because he's such a skin flint. Everybody says daddy's magnanimous, but he says he's just big boned. Ha! <laughs> But, um, tss. okay, in that case, I don't think there's anything in the future for me to be worried about, so I will open them in the past. There's that blooming desert. Let's see. No port yet. Yes. A black vest. Now wait, you're supposed to... Grrr. Because if you... A vest is when... That's the weaker of the items. 
black vest, blue plate. Yeah, I'd rather have black plate than a black vest. Unless there's no way. But there have to be a limited number of times where there's actually treasure there, right? What about the cataclysm? Oh, the cataclysm is when it's bad. Is it going to automatically go to the end game by accident now? Or can I say no? He comes. Lavos. Oh, oops. Wait, give me a chance to get out of here. I guess I saved recently, so it wouldn't be the worst thing if I have to reset, but... Yeah, if I can't fight the mini-boss, I'm definitely not ready for this guy. Oh, how I've awaited this. Lavos. Hm. You grow hesitant? Flee for now. The future. We're getting out of dodge. Yeah, and then there's nothing here in the future. It's just like a little... Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to assume that the Middle Ages is, has the treasure, and I can't uh, futz with anything with time related to that. So I'll go ahead and take the black vest and whatever the other item is, and I won't reset. A white vest, okay. Maybe there is some super duper secret to upgrade the equipment, but I think for my first playthrough that'll be enough. I can always try for the really rare gear on a later playthrough. Now wait. That's where his home used to be, the Cursed Woods. That's uh, what's her name's house, little Fiona, or the tree planter. Market, Elder, Dorino. Let's poke around while we're here. Peace at last, thanks to the hero. Hurrah for the hero! Hurrah for Guardia! Welcome, what can I do for you? I'm in good shape. My thanks! Okay, that's the market. Residence? Yay, the hero beat all the evil monsters! Peace at last, thanks to the hero. Hurrah for the hero. Hurrah for Guardia. That major survived and is in hiding now. So I hear. Where could he be? We cannot let that fiend escape. Think of all the soldiers who fell. I heard talk that the hero was Sir Cyrus's friend. Ah, he must be a truly handsome knight. <laughs> Ha, yeah, and he feels flattered. Oh, that's cool. Okay, residence, market, elder's house. This house belongs to Dorino's village elder. It seems we have some peace here again at last. Magus' three generals fled. I heard they're hiding on some island. Will we never rid of this world of evildoers? Oh, I didn't know that. Can we get, can we like get some help from his generals? Peace at last, thanks to the hero. Hurrah for the hero. Oh, saw that. Behold, the legendary hero's sword in hand. Ah, oh, just once I could be in the hero's shoes. Oh, does she say that because we have uh, Pepe out? Legendary explorer, he says. The lying, no good thief. He used all the money, but still can't find what I asked for. He may as well have robbed me at knife point. Yay, the hero beat all the evil monsters. 
interesting. So his generals are on an island. Can we find them? Elder's house, the inn. Peace at last, thanks to the hero. Hurrah for the hero! Well, saw that. The winds off the Denadoros have grown mild as of late. Behold, the legendary hero! Ah, saw that. We're saved, or at least for the time being. Many people visit inns. If you're searching for someone, inns are a fine place to ask. By the way, did you know whirlwind energy will disappear? If it's hit with a wind slash, nature has a way of balancing out. Magus's plan was thwarted. Now we should be all be safe no matter what we do. That's why I mean to keep looking for paradise in the bottom of this mug. It ha! Magus is gone. Now there's nothing to fear. It's time to celebrate. We're ale. Let's get plastered. Oh, you can call him over. Greetings, this is the Dorino Inn. It'll cost you 50G for night, if you please. Will you stay? Why not? Oh, wonderful. Well, then rest and relax. Oh, yeah. Another sleepover. Okay. Go, thought, go. <laughs> it's like that meme, you do the bear walk to fix your posture. Alright. Mm. And then, what's that dinky cave? Is that the magic cave? Yeah, and I think that leads to the, just like the other side of the island. Now, apparently, Magus' dudes are on an island somewhere. And there are only a small handful of those. Let's keep poking her. Okay, there's the... Cathedral, there's the castle town. Let's poke around in town first. The hero delivered us peace, and I delivered the king his battle. All is well again. Hurrah for Guardia, a toast to our kingdom. Peace is an overdue visitor, but it's on its way now at long last. Okay, we delivered the bell. The truce in. A cause for celebration if there ever was one. On a day like today, there's no need for restraint. There's talk of constructing a town square to celebrate the peace that's come at last. They say it should be named Lien Square for the Queen. Ah, so that's what we have in our time. Yahoo! I'm so excited I can't stop. Hurrah for the hero and hurrah for Guardia. Can I... Can I get a drink? I guess he's just serving everybody drinks. But me. Isla's old enough, right? She's a few hundred million years old. No treasure up here. Okay. And we're already healed, so I'm not going to worry about that. So I think I have to go to the Millennium Fair and earn, like, a doll or something if I want to save Chrono. So I might do that next. The market. You didn't come all this way just to look, did you? Surely there's something you'd like to buy. Whoa, wow, look at this Bronze Age technology. Look at these padded vests and bronze helms. Ah, you can always use potions. There. They're so cheap, why not? My thanks, do come again. The market. Residence? My dream has come true. Peace is ours. That long and terrible conflict is finally behind us. Well, let's poke around that island. I don't want to visit the castle right now. Okay. So they're on an island. Probably not that one. There's nothing there. Ooh, okay. This creepy dudes. Is that the magic cave? So that's like the opposite entrance. Of course. Yeah, okay, that's the opposite exit. Is there a location here? Seems pretty empty. 
Just here for show? Okay. Okay. Here's some weird stuff. Oh, that's nice. They have like a little recommended landing spot. Oh, okay. There is someone here. Let's see if he'll talk to Magus. Welcome and well met. This is the great Ozzy. What? Ah! Lord Magus? It is good to see you again, Ozzy. But then, Nerf, you think you can talk to me after you desert your fellow friends to lick the boots of these filthy humans? You're not our lord, you're a traitor. Why did you leave us? Oh, he doesn't like that. Okay, what's he say if it if it ain't me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I load a save? Is there any way to reset? There's no way to reset, is there? Okay. Well, I'm going to save over this one, and I can come back and check that out later, just for my own curiosity. That's why I have multiple saves. Okay. Yeah, we'll go kick his butt. And... Hold on. For text, I can sort of see... Black hole. Does he need the ring for that? It doesn't... It seems like I should be giving that to mages, not her. I don't know why I did that. Critical hit, stamina, speed, magic... MP consumption, accuracy, magic, status ailments, speed, strength, turn experience into gold, ah, nah. stamina, accuracy, magic, berserker, doubles evasion, speed. Let's do that one. And let's give mages here. Oh, reduces MP consumption. Okay. Let's give him Scala's amulet. Prevents all status ailments. Black gemstone. Presumably he needs it. Yeah, let's put in... Let's have the medieval crew at it. You pesky low-down good-for-nothings. Can't take a hint, eh? Guess I know what I have to do now. Flee! It's the femboy, oh no! You called. Oh dear me, if it isn't Lord Magus. You must like shame to have come back here. A human-loving traitor like you deserves to be punished like the bad, bad boy you are. Stand back, great Aussie, and let me take care of these cretins. Right. Well, uh, just leave you to it then, flee. All right. Time for a good hard spanking. <laughs> What's this dude's deal? Drop Isla on an enemy. Slurpkiss is a really good heal. I guess it's a, it should if it's a combo technique. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, now who who got the spanking? 
Oh, just you wait. I'll teach you a lesson next time. Okay. Oh, more of these things. Howdy! Arise, my fearsome guardians! Slash them to shreds! No one's taking back the treasure I stole fair and square from Magus's keep! <laughs> Claw them to pieces! Oh, just a couple of these dudes? Alright. Wait. Yeah! <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, she's in a pickle! Well, I'm out of here. Is oh yeah. Don't, don't you people ever give up? Well, it looks like there's only one choice. Slash. You summoned. Take care of this for me, will you, Slash? Normally, I would not deign to cross blades with my former lord, but who am I to question the complex workings of fate? Ready yourselves. Wait, I thought we were like agreed we were like you were like an honorable warrior or whatever, right? Oh, he doesn't get along with people, does he? Okay, we'll try that. Mage just doesn't have any dual attacks yet. That's not that great. That lightning two and ice two are better for like a large group of people. I want some good uh, attacks for taking out a solo dude. Yeah, like that. Uh, ice two? Eh, not particularly weak. Ah, eh, well, we got him anyway. Isla's level increased. Humph, <laughs> you win this time. Come on, sweetheart! Well, wait a second. Whoa, gotcha! Oh. I thought I avoided it. I guess I was that dumb, huh? Hi, Ether. Wow, it. Wow. Took us all down to one? So I guess that what I was supposed to do was I was supposed to just walk up there and beat him up, right? But I walked into the trap. I didn't even think I was walking into the trap. I thought there was some distance between me and it. Oh, now you have to fight all three at once? <laughs> not so fast, friends. This time's not going to be so easy. Marzi Pants! Flee, Bostier. Slasher, too. With these items combined, we're invincible. Get ready to witness true power. Now we can use all at, uh, dude techniques. Okay. Let's take out Big Fat Ozzy first, because I don't like him. That was fire too, right? Delta Force, enemy trip they have a triple tech? No fair! They can't have the same thing we have. Ooh, they're doing okay. Holy cow, they got a lot of those. I should probably do Slurp Heal sooner, soon-ish. I didn't know they were going to attack me that many times in a row. I gotta take one of them out so I don't, they don't keep doing that. Youch! So I need to be pretty dang aggressive. Uh, Athenian Water. Technique. 
There. Get Magus back in the fight. Good. How about Ice 2? Nice. I like that that does a large amount of damage to everybody. Uh, she, Isla's really powerful. And our healer's down. Great. So they're pretty good attackers. I, I'm guessing it'll, be, it'll go much easier if I can just take one of these dudes out. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for Ozzy. He might have the highest HP. Really? Nothing? Well, do I heal or do I go for broke? I'm going to go for broke and try to take out one of them. And they just wail on us. Man, they hit you with several of those in a row. Go for broke, why not? Da 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 da. Man, they, they, it seemed like a joke fight up until this. And there we go. Well, now I can try it without mages and see if they say anything different. Forty-three, forty-four, yeah. Keep out our Isla girl. Welcome and well met. This is the great Arty. What? Ah! You again? I'm out of here. So he just doesn't say anything about uh, Mage just being here. The femboy, oh no! Oh, long time no see. You know, no girl likes the ones who can't take a hint. Stand back, great Aussie, and let me take care of these cretins. Okay, so it's just slightly different. Bubble burst. It only does like a hundred. All right. Ice water. Eight hundred. Yeah, Isla's like the force of nature. Iceberg toss. Hey, that's a pretty good one. 2,000, all right. Glacial freeze dual technique. All right, maybe I should be trying more of these. Double cure. Oh, just you wait. I'll teach you a lesson next time. Let's see here. I always thought Flea was a lady. Dark gray fly. Okay, they did a joke when Flea first showed up that they couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. So maybe you're right. <laughs> this is our great opponent. This is the man who kicked my ass. Okay, hold on. Don't walk into the obvious trap.
Now, what does Slash say different if Mages isn't here? You summoned? Fortune favored you last when last we met, but it would seem your luck has rung dry. Ready yourselves! What did I unlock? Bubble Burst, Slurp Kiss. Nearly 2,000, okay. Aerial Strike's pretty good. 666, the number of the beast! How about Tailspin? And... I don't know, Water. <laughs> you win this time. Wait. Come on, sweethearts. Now I just have to, like, not go there, right? Does he say anything? Um, sweethearts, don't you want to open a treasure chest? Probably filled with lots of nice goodies. Oh, treasure! Yeah, but... Oz, Oz, he's bungled that one. Well, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's a clown show. High ether. What does high ether do? Restore 60 MP. Okay. Mid potion, high potion. So potion, mid potion, high potion. Ether, mid ether, high ether. Elixir. That's rare. I don't I want to save that for big deals. I don't seem to be able to buy it everywhere. Turbo Ether. That seems to be pretty rare, too. Mega Elixir? Really save that. That's rare. Special. Panacea. Shelter. Barrier Sphere might be nice to start throw out at the start of a boss battle. Lapis is really nice. I seem to have a lot of them. I wonder if I can buy them somewhere. Shield Sphere... Magic Capsule. Oh, well, I should give that to uh, Magus. And I should probably give Strength Capsule to uh, Cave Thought here. Be nice to give a little speed to Rick. Get him, I don't know, moderately okay ish. Well, magic is clearly for mages. Ambrosia restores question mark. Okay. Wait, Ambrosia is like the elixir of the gods, right? Luca, Pepe, Marla. I think the broken characters are supposed to be Magus and Isla. So I'd rather... I like Rick. He's kind of a tank. But I'd kind of like to keep the... the if I'm, if I'm going to use rare items to power someone up, I might as well use it on like the Chronos and the regular team members here. Now, what does speed affect apart from t attack order? Does it affect how fast you fill up? I'll save the speed capsule for now. No rush. Let's go save. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sure this is obvious, but I figured out their names are all music related. Guns N' Roses, Red Hot Chili, Chili Peppers, and Black Sabbath, says Dark Gray Fox. And the Metal Sis Flea is definitely a man, although he looks completely like a woman, just like Jakotsu from Inuyasha. It's a common trope in Japanese media and a problem we deal with IRL today. No way, yeah.
guess it's the same trope as like Vivian in uh, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, and they didn't want to translate it. Come on. No! All that work kapoofed and kapuffled. <sighs> Play anyway. Ah! Ooh, I'm... what's wrong with you, Steam? How am I supposed to game if it deletes my data like that? Okay, wait. I basically saw everything except uh, what they say at the very end. Oh, that's annoying. Bum rush it. I want to get to an okay stopping point, right? Brah! I'm going to save between every fight now. At least the first two I can kind of, like, coast through. There, yeah, see, on their own. Now, I wonder if that means I should take out the weaker ones first. If Ozzy's a tank and they're hammering away at me with all those triple techs, then instead of hammering away at Ozzy, I should take out the weakest link first to end the, the triple techs. That's what I'll do the next time. He's an idiot, but he's a tough idiot. Okay, now I'm going to be a smart aleck and go save again. I don't know if it's Steam or my laptop. I'm assuming it's Steam. And then I'll just avoid having mages at the very last fight. Well, I guess they might say something different if mages is in the crew anyway at the end of the fight. So I'll keep them out. Do the little dinky cutscene. Doopy doopy doo, joke character. Well, if I have unlocked the secret, then let's, uh, let's see if I can make this work with my weaker boys. We'll blast flee. And we'll use a shelter real quick, because that's why we have them. Wait, does it only work on these three, or does it help everybody? 
Ah, ha, 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 ha. It only works on the people who are in the party at the moment. Whatever. Okay. Perfect. The time egg, okay. Now is the time egg the thing I have to use to rescue Chrono, I think? Yeah. Or no, the Chrono Trigger is the thing I need to, to rescue Chrono. Okay, take out the Femboy. We must be homophobic as possible! <laughs> How about fire on everybody and ice water on everybody? Oh, well, we're just going to attack everybody all the time. All right. I guess it would be better to aggressively attack one of them, right? Because at this rate, we're going to kill all three at once. And if I'm using uh, combo techniques, yeah. I'm assuming combo techniques take up more time to use. Can I aggressively punish just... Uh, just flee? And, okay, are they responding to me using magic or something? Ah, ha, ha. He healed, because he's got the special armor on. That's nice. Do it again, why don't you? Nyeh, nyeh. Keep doing it. I love it. Um, okay, okay, okay. Heal everybody. Does darkness work? Just gotta pay attention to make sure I'm not accidentally healing them or something. That's pretty good. Are they replying to my magic? Is that what's going on? Am I hitting them with magic and then they're hitting me back with something? Are you kidding me? I mean, hitting all of them with a 1,000 attacks pretty good, right? They seem to do that every time I hit them with magic? Alright, you know what? I'm changing tack here. I'm gonna just hammer on, uh... Femboy a bit more. I'll hammer on Femboy and heal with Marl and Pepe. No, attack Pepe, why not? See if they do this when I don't use magic. They seem to attack every time. They seem to respond with that triple tech every time. Hmm, not fun. Hey, we got one! No more of those annoying triple techs. Okay, yeah, Ozzy is the tank, so he's the worst one to go after.
Yeah! Magus' level increased, Pepe's level increased, Marla's level increased, and we learned the Glacial Freeze dual tech. Learned Double Cure dual tech. Nice. Impossible! Speed ring. Clarity cap. What's a clarity cap? Prevents confuse. Okay. And it has better defense. That's just better than the Doom Helm. Prevents lock. Yeah, there's just better equipment here. What does the Doom Helm do? It's just not as good. All right. The Raven armor is pretty good. Yeah, maybe a little magic defense. It's kind of similar to Dark Mail. Magus, you really have it out for me, don't you? We fought side by side. You said you wanted to create a world for fiends. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You used me. I sought power, nothing more. Surely the howling of those bitter winds does not escape your ear. The end draws nigh. You can't defeat me. What will become of fiend kind? I can't lose. I won't. Oh, this is his weird thing. And he's got some weird thing. What are you aiming at, perchance? He's got something behind him. Mwahaha, <laughs> gotcha! <gasps> oh, that's sinister. Adios, amigos. Any aerial attack. <laughs> but there's a problem. Does he give a different speech if someone if my mages isn't out? You're wasting your time. You'll never defeat me. <laughs> no, not that switch. <laughs> Some people just don't know when to give up. <laughs> There's always something. Now, what would have happened if I had been smart and I hadn't fallen for it? I'm going to save and I'm going to load a different save and see if I can figure that out. And then we'll call it a night after that. Five fifty-eight. Oh, is the only way for me to do it? You'd think they'd have an easy way for you to reset and get back to the main menu, wouldn't you? Controls. Original. Yeah. Fastest. Normal's okay for now. I like active. It's just a bit more challenging that way. Now, if I quit the game... Okay, it completely closes out the game, but... Play anyway... Now we're going to see what happens if I'm not an idiot.
I'll trade out mages too. Is there a way to cure everybody? No? Okay. Oh, I should have cured Isla. Well, at least he'll heal, or won't take damage. They do seem to reply with a triple technique every time you attack them. So, if I knew that, I would ha just have Pepe attack uh, flee all the time to get healing. And then... Yeah, okay, that's the pattern. Whoever you attack, they... Yeah, so you should continually be attacking flee with, uh, whoever has fire armor. I'm going to heal with... There, I figured out the pattern. Cure 2. There. Then I'll have Marla heal herself while Pepe just wails on Flea. There. No more triple techs. Tier 2 on Marla. Boulder Toss. Slurp Slash. Yeah, taking them out one at a time works much better. And they were responding and replying to all my attacks. Cat attack. Nyeh. What does haste do again? Haste, I think, lets us attack faster or fill up faster. Have times between turns for your ally. Ooh, that's nice. Forgot about haste. Okay, that's really nice. And this one I don't have to save because I'm just goofing around. All I want to see is if, uh, can cheese it. Attack an enemy with ice, okay. What are you aiming at, you imbecile? Oh, I wish I had fire right now.
can I hit the switch on the right? And just drop him down? Does he really want... Do they really want me to do it that way? This isn't going to help much. I guess it's supposed the way you're supposed to do it. Yeah, so the way I did it by accident is actually the way you are supposed to do it. Is he supposed to be invincible? Eight. He has extremely high defense. Every time I hit him, he replies. So yeah, you are you actually are supposed to do it that way. You're supposed to get curious. Realize you can't win that way. Or maybe you can and it's just like a, a incredibly hard challenge for someone. Then you're supposed to get curious, realize you can get hit, hit that, and then try it. Oh, we got him. Gotcha. I think Toby Fox might have been inspired to create the annoying dog by the cat of chaos here. Oh shoot, I had Marla out again. I could have seen what the others had to say. Meep. I'm sure there's some nerd out there who's collected every single little data point. All right, I'm going to call it there. That seems good for the night. Thanks, everybody, for joining the chat. I'm number one Marmaduke fan. I love you guys. I will catch you later.